book is about Ross's son, Henry, who goes off to, um, on a gap year, sees the horrors of all the people, the refugees fleeing from Syria. My, my, my son was doing an Erasmus year and he went to um, various camps in, uh, in Greece. Um, but it's a, it's a little bit about him when he's young and how he loses his smile and then as he grows up um, he finds his smile again helping people in the refugee camps in Greece. He told me some stories which didn't really, um, they're not, the, the stories aren't really reflected in what we think we know of the camps and he, he focused upon the, uh, the inherent dignity of people who find themselves in tremendously difficult situations. He gets involved and he goes to the camps and, uh, and ends up making 10,000 bowls of soup every day for people. And they make friendships, they, 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 they joke, they make fun of each other and perhaps it's um, perhaps that kind of uh, that, that, that kind of compassionate humour is something that's been um, been missing in the pressure of um, their, 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 their arduous and their extraordinarily dangerous journeys. We, uh, we have a fantastic storyteller amongst our midst in our village and uh, she decided that she'd like to tell the story and then some other friends who write music locally also got involved and we've written an original score and recorded the story too. So. I read it I said to him, you know what, we should record this and we should make a book and we should sell it for charity and it sort of snowballed from there and lots of people got involved from the local village and the community and, and here we are today. I went over there in the uh, beginning of April and it was a sight to see, I tell you, a bit like a really bad festival, no music, mm. and lots of mud, and everybody with shoes that don't fit, and, and the people are so amazing to, to know that they have been through what they've been through, and yet they have so much humility and gratitude. Uh, there, there's nothing distressing in it, there's nothing um, political in it, but certainly um, five-year-olds get something entirely different from the, uh, from the story than ten-year-olds do. They started to make a field picture. And that's why I just love this book, because 10,000 bowls of soup is what they do, constantly. And there are lots of triggers within it, um, whereby the, um, the adult actually can prompt the child, you know what that means, um, you, why are the children hungry, why are they um, behind, behind fences. As well as being entertaining, we do hope that the, um, the book does facilitate those those conversations because across Britain even though you might think from the news that people are saying oh, oh, oh we don't want these people here actually what's happening in villages and towns all across Britain is that people are helping and by ten thousand dollars leaving 